Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Hope blames Steffi for destroying her family, and Steffi is floored by Finn's opinion. At Forrester Creations, Hope looks through a brochure and finds an old trimming about her and Thomas as the faces of fashion's future. Liam shows up and Hope assumes he's then to say, I told you so. He says he isn't then to bewail. Hope says it's only fair he has his shot to, as she got read the hoot act from Steffi. Liam tells Hope they may not be married, but he doesn't get off on seeing her hurt. She knows she hurt Thomas, and now he's left wing and taken Douglas. Liam knows that has to hurt. Hope feels Douglas is her son in all the ways that count, and this isn't the farewell she wanted. Hope is certain Steffi is behind Thomas leaving with Douglas this way. Hope harangues that Steffi no way wanted her and Thomas together, and she's made certain it wouldn't be. He asks if she thinks this is all Steffi's doing. Hope acknowledges she broke Thomas's heart, but Steffi made the situation worse. Liam had hoped it wouldn't get to this point between her and Steffi again. Hope says it wouldn't have if Steffi didn't step by. She rants about all effects Steffi said to her and it didn't count that Douglas was contributory damage as long as Thomas was out of her life. She says Steffi meddled with her family, and Douglas was agonized and thinks she doesn't love him and his daddy enough. Liam suggests she give Douglas time as he loves her. Hope wishes Thomas had taken time to suppose about effects before leaving, but Steffi had to stir effects up and destroy what they had. Hope says Steffi is responsible for a lot of this, and Thomas and Douglas would still be then if Steffi didn't get involved. Hope tells Liam if she had accepted Thomas' offer effects would be different. Still, Steffi got into his head, and told him that she was using him, and that she was another trashy Logan. She loves Thomas, which she knows Liam doesn't want to hear, but it's true. She doesn't know if they would have gotten wedded, and Steffi did everything she could to make it about the Foresters versus Logans each over again. She apologizes for oversharing. He knows she's going through a lot, and says he LLB around if she needs further help with Beth. He won't lie, he's relieved Thomas is out of their lives, and he thinks she LLC this as a good thing in the end. Liam says perhaps there's someone differently out there for her. Zand and RJ find Luna in the design office. They tell her that Thomas has left City, and fill her in on the offer, the rejection, and Thomas leaving for Paris with Douglas. RJ explains this changes effects as Thomas isn't working for Hope for the future, so they've to step up. Luna feels bad for Hope, and RJ says Hope loves Thomas, but she just couldn't commit. Zen says it's hard when you have passions for someone and they can't repay. RJ believes Hope and Thomas are done, which is why they need to get behind Hope and support her. Thinks stepping up to help Hope will bring him and Zend closer. Luna offers to help and RJ says that would be great as Zend hasn't gotten the chance to work with Luna yet and see how amazing she is. Luna upset BB Zen says he formerly knows how amazing Luna is, and it would be his pleasure to work more nearly with her. At the Precipice House, Finn thinks Thomas leaving City with Douglas must be hard for Hope. Steffi calls Hope a Logan, and that family has caused a numerous heartbreak for her and her family. She says the Logans have tried to tear her family piecemeal for times, and now Hope is following in their steps. Steffi says Hope isn't the innocent girl she formerly was. Steffi says Thomas turned his life around from his preoccupation with Hope, and all he wanted was for Hope to love him. She says now he's agonized. Finn thinks Hope is agonized too. Steffi says she brought this on herself, she ruined effects with Liam and now Thomas, and no bone should feel sorry for Hope. Finn tells Steffi that he knows she's hurting for Thomas. Steffi harangues that Hope manipulated her family and perhaps it was to get back to her or her family. She says Hope led Thomas and indeed Douglas on. Finn knows they've a complicated relationship, but she can't put all the blame on Hope. Finn tells Steffi it's not good getting crack up over this and perhaps just try to feel for Hope a little bit. He says Hope's had her own challenges too, and to have compassion so this doesn't escalate and helical out of control. Steffi says Hope did tell her she'd lament snooping and she doesn't like Finn defending her. 
Finn isn't defending her, but can see part of her is lost. She knows he always wants to see the stylish in people, so they shouldn't let Hope, Thomas, or Liam get between them. Their love is what matters, and they kiss. Anticipate Hope Logan and John Finn Finnegan to bond. Deacon Sharp accompanies Sheila Carter's body to the crematorium. Plus, Lauren Fenmore Baldwin visits Eric Forrester in Los Angeles. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, Sheila Carter's Memorial Service B&B Spoilers for the week of April 1st reveal that one must see moment centers on a dead woman. Cleric will continue to struggle with letting go of Sheila. Cleric decides to hold a honorary service for his cherished. Cleric calls someone and asks them to stop by. The daily exercise clip implies its hope that Deacon calls. B&B spoilers, Deacon Sharp's grief still, Finn will also hear about the honorary service for Sheila. Despite the crimes Sheila committed against Finn and his favored bones. He has mixed feelings about the villain's death. When Finn decides to go to Sheila's honorary service, Steffi Forrester Finnegan fully flips out. Back over with Hope, she'll do what she can to support Deacon. However, also so be it, if that means attending an honorary service for someone Hope abominated. In the end, Hope just wants to be probative toward her father in his time of need. Further Baldwin visits Eric Forrester in Los Angeles. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers, John Finnegan and Hope Logan bond the Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers for the week of April 1st reveal that Hope is getting ready to head to Sheila's keepsake services in the daily exercise clip. Dressed in all black, Hope is stupefied to see Liam Spencer in front of her. Hope will also be touched by Liam's concern. Liam will talk to Hope about Sheila's honorary service and her supporting cleric. When Hope eventually gets to Sheila's honorary service, she'll partake a special connection with Finn. There will presumably be some chaos and drama girding the honorary service. In real life, people would just leave the dead and their mourners alone. In detergents, it's relatively different. Also, after the honorary service, Cleric can't bear to be separated from Sheila. So, Cleric goes with Sheila's body to the crematorium. During the week of April 1st, suckers can also anticipate Eric to get a special collar. Lauren comes from Genoa City to Los Angeles. Anticipate Lauren and Eric to talk about the hell that Sheila put their families through over the decades. Also, the two will partake a toast to celebrate Sheila no longer being a trouble. Is the trouble truly gone, however? Hope Logan and John Finnegan's bond. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the week of April 1st reveal that Hope will be touched by the genuine concern that Liam seems to have for her. However, don't expect a lope reunion. Hope ends up bonding with Finn when they both attend Sheila's memorial service. Meanwhile, expect Liam and Steffi to pout over Hope and Finn's decision. BNB Spoilers, Week of April 1, 2024 Fans can also expect Finn to claim that Steffi is just using Hope and Thomas Forrester's split to start a feud. Zend Forrester Dominguez and Luna Nozawa end up in a surreal situation. Also, Deacon accompanies his dead lover's body to the crematorium. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most during the week of April 1, 2024? What are your predictions for Sheila? Deacon, Liam, and Steffi? What does the future hold for Hope, Finn, Zend, Luna, RJ, and the other characters?